Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Master Luke here, and welcome back to Octopath Traveler from Nintendo Switch. On the last episode, we explored this uh, cave on our path to get Primrose. Uh, where is it? Right up here. And <laughs> got a, ni a couple of nice items. Um, almost died a couple times, too. But now that we've leveled up quite a bit, um, let's head off and see how far we can get. All right. So we run into some more lizard men here. Um, let's see. Is that a level two? Oh, that's a level three. Level one, level two, level three. Okay. I kind of see the difference between them. Um, so these guys, I guess we can start uh, by hitting them. Well, never mind. He only has one SP. Um, let's, uh, let's hit him with a lance. He's level three guy. All right. And then, let's see. Are they weak to ice in the desert? Yes. Okay. Well, that's nice. Both the level one and level two. Um, but we know he's weak to this land, so let's hit him with that again. 118, not bad. Um, and Orphelia, we can hit again with him. All right. Back to Cyrus. Nice, okay. So the one guy's dead, the weakest of them. And then... There we go. 80 damage for him. And he's gone too. All right. All three of them. Perfect. And we got the break bonus. So let's see here. I think we got all the chests in this area. Southern Sunshade Sands. Danger level 11. All right. Oh, 357 gold. Nice. All right. Oh, we can't read signposts in this game. That's right. Is that the town we're supposed to be going to already? Have we already made it? No. Let's see. Okay. Well, it's not going to... Oh, it's not going to let us go down there. Underneath. Can we go this way? Oh, here's a chest. We'll grab whatever's in this. Inspiring Plum. Okay. Is this the town? South Clearbrook, Clearbrook Traverse. Danger level 11. And some more gold. Okay, well now we're out of the desert again. I think we. I think that was it. Let me. Uh, let me check it real fast here. Wait. World map. Yeah, we totally just passed up Primrose. Um, where are we were right here. Yeah, let's go back. Chapter one. Yeah, let's go there. Because we're probably gonna have to go in that pit. Well, hold on a second. There is a chest while we're right here, though. Oh, 500 gold. Okay. And then we'll probably... What's up here? Okay, so Alfin's up here. But we're almost to Orphelia's second um, second chapter. So let's get uh, Primrose. And then we'll do that in the next few episodes. As we'll start on Orphelia chapter 2. It's been a while. What were we doing with her again? We were getting... What? The kindling going? Um, the church ritual or whatever that was? Alright. Let's head into the town. Sunshade. Alright. Well, I guess we can guide this guy. Let's see. What does he got? Thrash with a spear... Old man. Well, maybe we might we might do a little more than just this old man. Um, purchase anything? Enlightened earrings? Eh, why not? We got the money. Do we want to check? You know what? I want to see if we can. Okay, so we can purchase stuff. We can challenge him. He's only a level two strength. Do we really want to beat up on this old man? A good day for All right. Oh, it only lets us fight him with Ulbrich. Okay. Oh, he's not weak to the lance. Ooh, 32. Well, that's not that bad. Broken again. You know what? Let's actually... Cross-strike. Unleashes a sword attack. Let's see how much this does. 
Ooh, 161. Okay, so it's it's basically just like a really big sword attack. The battle is truly man, this old man sure is taking a lot of hits. There we go. <laughs> well, we knocked him out for a look. Let me actually, I want to check something. If we go out and come back, can we, ch I don't think we can challenge him again, but I just want to make sure. Is our goal to challenge every single person? Here, let's see. Okay, so we could challenge him again, but we can't, we can't purchase anything else because that's the only thing he had. All right. Got anything? Uh, Iron Helm, Physical Defense 29. Eh, that's okay, I guess. Let's see, who's this? Oh, Master's Lackey. Binding Dust, or Blinding Dust. Does he got anything? Oh, wait. Nah, we don't want to challenge him. He's only at level one. Fire Soul Stone, Stimulating Earrings, Falcon Dagger. Okay, well, that, that actually looks pretty good, but we don't have anybody who can use daggers, so <laughs> there's no use. Um... I'm thinking Primrose can, though. That would make sense. Um, since she's like a dancer, and that kind of goes with the whole dancing and seductiveness, right? Or am I totally off on that? Uh, we don't need any of that stuff. There's Primrose. All right, let's save and do her, her little thing. All right. Her name is Primrose, and she's a dancer. This is Sunshade, a city of a thousand pleasures, forever shrouded in shadow. Driven into poverty when her noble house fell, she now piles her trade in a tavern, suffering no end of indignities at the hand of the cruel Master Hinglish. All for the day she could have her revenge. Then one day he appeared, a man marked by the crow, one of three foul villains who murdered her dear father. And so, aided by her sole friend Yusofa, she sprints from the tavern into the labyrinth below in pursuit. She will need loyal allies on the path she has chosen. Okay. So that was that little thing earlier with the sign. Alright, so who are we going to replace Primrose with? Mm. Well, I want to... I'm probably going to do either Orphelia or Cyrus just because... Well, you know what? Well, oh wait, can we not replace Orphelia? I don't really want to get rid of Cyrus, though, just because he helps us figure out what who's weak to what. But they, since they both use the rod, that's why I wanted it. You cannot replace your party leader at this time. You can arrange your party later by liz visiting the local tavern. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Unfortunately, we're going to have to replace Orphelia, but we're going to get her right back whenever we do her chapter two. So for right now... Yeah, we're going to have to replace Tressa. As much as that pains me. All right, let's hear the beginning of her tale. Even when the blade is held at your heart, faith shall be your shield. Words of the House of Azelheart. Ten years ago. Funny how it works, isn't it? Everything that happens in this world falls into one of two neat little categories. Things one is better off knowing, and things one is better off not. Jeffrey Azelhart, I'm afraid you've been poking your nose into the latter. I have only done as my convictions bade me do. I thought you might say something like that. You're making this delightfully easy. Mother. Make sure he's dead. Let's leave this place before we're seen. It's done. Never forget. 
three men, each marked with the sign of the crow. One on his left arm. One on his right. And the last on his neck. Three men. Foul scavengers, just like the bird whose mark they bear. They took my father from me. And I will never forget. Always the same dream. I wish I had your confidence, Primrose. I couldn't imagine nodding off minutes before my cue. How nice it must be to be the master's favorite. <sighs> Fine. Go on and keep your airs. Act as though you're better than the rest of us. It doesn't change the fact that you're just another dancer in the sands, Primrose. Nothing but a kept woman, here to flatter the dignity of men who pay for the privilege. I suppose you're right. <sighs> Shh, enough chatter. Master Helganish is coming. Do I keep you women to titter here in the shadows? My customers are waiting for their entertainment! The opening act should be on that stage already. Now, get out there and earn your keep! Customers increased tenfold since you stepped on our stage. But do not go forgetting yourself. It was I who groomed you for this role. And I will be forever grateful for that, Master. You were an ignorant girl when I picked you up. Completely useless. I taught you everything you know. a roof over your head and food on your plate who bought the jewels that adorn your pretty neck who made you the most sought after dancer in this dusty old town it was me oh me you owe me kitten and i'll see that debt repaid yes Master. Primrose, it's your cue. I'm coming. Put your face back on now, kitten. Yes, Master. The tavern lies at the end of the central road, just past the bazaar. I mustn't dally any longer. Oh my god, did he really just slap us in the middle of that cutscene? We, no way, no way somebody slaps us and gets away with it. We better kill him later. There's no way he's getting away with that. Um, let's head up here. Uh, okay, no, it doesn't look like there's anything up here. My goodness, what a creepy old man to have to work for. <laughs> that looks miserable. I'm really hoping that he's the final boss uh, of her story or something like that. We finally get to take him out. All right, let's go to the Sunshade Tavern.
This way, Primrose. Get a move on. Alright. Can we go upstairs? Is there anything up here? Ooh, there is. There's a chest. Well, it just got a healing grape. That's okay. Anything on this side? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, anything back here? Okay, nothing. Can we talk to these guests? No, they're all just kind of talking to themselves. All right, let's head back. Ah, there you are. Kept us waiting long enough, Primrose. Forgive me. I was fixing my hair. <laughs> <laughs> It'd have been worth it. You're our best chance of getting to eat tonight. And the customers will have been waiting. I am ready. Let the show begin. Hey, it's her! Watch over me, Father. That day I swore revenge against the men who took you from me. The three marked by the crow. My once proud house fallen. I left home far behind following their trail. That trail has led me here. I heard one of them often passes through here on his travels. It was the smallest scrap of hope, but it was all I had. Until I find him, there is no disgrace I will not endure. Losing my honor is nothing compared to the pain of losing you. Father, I will stop at nothing until I find the three and see justice served. And until I avenge you, I will dance. Wow. Oh, I think I'm in love. How about a private show, darling? You're all too kind and too handsome, I might add. Not bad, Primrose, not bad. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Look at your sandals. Seems you've gone and broken a strap. Go back to the dormitory and fetch yourself another pair. Yes. Most happily. Alright, make for the dormitory. Can we talk to him now? Oh, that's another dancer, never mind. Man, I, I hope we don't run into that creepy old man. Hang, Hanglish or whatever his name was. Hey. Hey. Papa, Papa, I'm going to be in a play. <laughs> I will be the princess and everyone will look at me. You'll come and watch me too, won't you? Yes. Oh, of course, my dear. Oh, thank Many thanks, you. my lord. <laughs> How was that? And guess what, Papa? When I grow up, I'm going to be a beautiful dancing girl, the star of the stage. Uh. A dancing girl? Uh, that's a dream best forgotten. But why, Papa? Uh. <laughs> Helena, my dear. You want to grow up to be a fine lady, yes? Like the princess you will play? Then it would be better not to say such things. Not in this town, at least. But what's wrong with dancing? It's so much fun. What? Look at her. She's she's beautiful. <laughs> Hello, child. Oh, come now. Come, Helena, this way. I'll tuck you into bed back at the inn. Papa has business to attend to this night. I suppose I should get back to my own work. Uh. Uh -huh. Oh! A thorn? <laughs> oh, someone's fetch a handkerchief. Primrose seems to be bleeding, the poor dear. <laughs> Perhaps she got a blister. She's always dancing oh so passionately. Right? Yes. I'm fine. It's nothing I haven't dealt with before. Hey! 
Don't you think that's enough already? Do you take such pleasure in others' pain? We're nothing but the master's playthings of all of us. And we all know what happens to girls who displease him, or have you forgotten? Beaten half to death and tossed in the gutter, left for dead, sick and starving. Oh my goodness, this man needs to die. Stop that. He beats these women and then throws them out? Well, we all know well enough where we stand. We know what he can do to us. Then why torment one of our own kind? Many thanks. Thank you, Yusufa. But there's no need for you to make foes on my behalf. <sighs> Prim. Yeah. Oh, here we go. What are you doing yowling back here? Sheath your claws, it's time for work. Somebody, somebody please stab him right now. Or do you think money flows out of my coffers by itself? Get out there and collect your tips. This man is pure evil. Not you, Primrose. You stay. Oh my god. This dude is so creepy. What was that? What was that sorry show you gave today? Uh, I think Do you think I'm blind? One glance was all I needed to know your mind was not where it ought to be. I can see through that pretty empty little head of yours, and there were not of dancing tonight. You haven't forgotten your debts now, have you? You haven't forgotten who owns you? You know the fate that awaits you if you dare defy me, don't you, kitten? I'm warning you because I care, Primrose. I wouldn't want to see anything untoward happen to my shining star. Forgive me. I'm sorry, Master. Forgive me. The truth is... I was simply remembering the first day I came here to you. No, oh, were you now? <laughs> not a day, not a moment passes when I am not thankful for all you've given me. Pray, forgive my lack of focus today, Master. It will not happen again. <laughs> oh, my dear. My dear Primrose. I too often think back on the day you came to my door. Just imagining the sight of you dancing for me as sweet and innocent as you were, it tickled me so. And you met my every expectation. You have been my best investment. But tonight, you have displeased me, and for this, you must atone. The crowd is looking thin tonight. Out on the streets with you, and bring us some custom. Custom with coin. Enough to cover a week's expenses. If you do that, I may still go easy on you. <laughs> At least, relatively so, kitten. Yes. You are kind, master. <laughs> Bravo, Prim. That was a performance for the ages. How do you do it? I want to vomit every time I have to call him master. Hmm. <laughs> What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out collecting tips? Are you alright? I was worried about you. How's your foot? What? Hmm? Huh? Here, use this. Uh. A handkerchief. Uh. Be careful out there, okay? Alright, so what can we do? We Primrose can alert townspeople into following her. Oh, okay. Allure a gentleman and then make for the tavern. Um, can we alert the guard? Chance of success, 100%. Master's lackey. Um, admit it now. Wouldn't you care to spend a little more time with me? That's our primrose. I'll keep you safe, girl. All right, come here, there. Can we use them in battle? Is it, is it, oh, it's probably like guide. <laughs> well, time to put on a different kind of show. Ah, this one looks to be the likely sort. Excuse me. Ah, lovely evening, isn't it, my lord? <laughs> Mayhaps you'd uh, care to share it with me? My apologies. A tempting offer, but I travel on business. I must depart early on the morrow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It must be a fascinating sort of business that you do. 
Perhaps you could tell me more over a drink? <laughs> I'd love to get to know you better. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid I can't. Excuse me. I dance at the tavern just down the street. <laughs> I'd be happy to put on a show for just for you. All right, we're gonna get this guy. <laughs> Let's see here, allure. Um, well healed a gentleman. All right. Yeah, so it's basically the same as Orphelia. Admit it now. Wouldn't you care to spend a little more time with me? Oh, oh my, I cannot resist such beauty. Pray, command. All right, let's take this guy to the tavern. <laughs> yes, that one pocket looks sufficiently deep. kitten you will be treated well tonight many thanks oh you honor me master <laughs> the seats are starting to fill see that not a single cup goes empty yes as you wish master Beg pardon. Oh, good evening gentlemen <laughs> ah primrose you're looking more and more lovely each time i see you it's been a while since we last enjoyed your company. Will you be with us long this evening? <laughs> oh, as long as you have for me, my dear. <laughs> Is that so? I'll have to give it some thought then. <laughs> I'll see you again later. <laughs> Till next time. And if that's all, I'll be taking my leave. <laughs> huh? Could it be? There, on his left arm. Mark of the Crow. How long have I waited for this day? Finally, you appear before me. This night, at long last, justice will be served. <laughs> no. Uh... I can't let him get away. Yeah. And where do you think you're going? So curious about that man, are you? Was it love at first sight, kitten? <laughs> Master. I did not. You wouldn't think of abandoning the stage and your customers before the night is through, now would you? Back to work, Primrose. <laughs> I trust you don't need me to repeat myself? Put your face back on You do head. remember what happens to the wicked little kittens who cross me, don't you? This is all I have. I may never get another chance like this again. Are you all right? Prim, what's the matter? It's not like you to look all flustered like this. Hmm. You don't need to tell me. For you to risk angering the master like that, it must be something important. Leave it to me. I'll keep his eyes busy. You slip out the back door on the upper floor. Uh. You shouldn't get involved. You put yourself at risk. Look, Prim, maybe you don't tell me what you're thinking. Come on! But that doesn't matter to me. I'm on your side and always will be. <sighs> on my side? <sighs> when the other girls would pick me pick on me and tell me to know my place, you were always the only one who stood by me. You never say much. You're always so distant, aloof even. But I know you don't want to burden others with your troubles. I know you better than you think, Prim. And I know that deep down, you have a good heart. Good heart. Yusufa. Thank you. <laughs> Always a woman of few words. I wouldn't have it any other way. Alright, follow the left-handed man. 
You know, before we go over there, wait, well, never mind. I was going to go to the armory and pick something up, but I don't know if they're going to let us. You will bring the women I need, won't you now? He's in cahoots with the dude. Oh my God. Now they both need to die. Competent help is so hard to come by these days. Whatever is a man to do. <laughs> I can assure you, my lord, I'm doing all that I can. Hmm. English. We are friends, are we not? Friends take care of one another. Yes. They do not disappoint each other. Yes. I, I will do everything in my power. <sighs> I saw a fine dancing girl in the tavern. I would rather like such a girl for my own. So, his uh, thought. Hinglish knows him. Listen to me. Bring the women to the place marked on the map. And Hinglish, try not to keep me waiting. Yes! But, uh, of course, my lord. <laughs> that map. Ah. Uh. Oh, he's in on it. Okay. And so I must pursue the foul crow. Don't get involved. This is my problem, not yours. But I suppose you're free to do as you please. Come on already, if you're coming. All right, so Primrose joined our party. Um, let's save here real fast, and then we'll go check out the armory. Because we got her in our party now. Perfect. Let's head over here. My goodness. <laughs> Of all the villains we've fought some more, that guy deserves to die most of all. <laughs> all right. So we got... Oh, we got 10,000 gold. Um, man, that war spear is actually really nice for Ulbrich. Let's see what... What can Primrose equip, though? Okay. So, yes, she finally has a dagger. Arcane knife. Piercing dagger. What is that? 59 uh, physical attack. 27. F Ooh, elemental attack. She doesn't have any elemental, does she? Oh, but it goes down. You know what? I think we're just going to go with this. The piercing dagger. Yes, equip that. Primrose, perfect. Um, feathered hat. 15 on both. Ooh, there we go. Saintly tiara. I think, uh, I think that is going to work out much nicer. Give that to Primrose. Fur robe, protective earrings. No, okay, I think we're good. Um, let me actually see, because we have two separate earrings. We can give her some earrings as well. These are equipped to Ulbrich, but the enlightened earrings aren't on anybody, so we can give that to her. All right. Well, um, on the next episode, we're going to be following that crow, and uh, we'll see what that leads. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.